All right, good morning, everybody. Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and today we are going to be brewing some Guatemala Geisha from Good Brothers. This is his 20, I believe it's 2199. Uh, really excited to try this coffee. He sent it to me about maybe a couple days ago. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. We're gonna be brewing it on the AeroPress. And we're also going to be grinding all of it with the uh, St. Anthony Industry hand, uh, hand, Millwright hand grinder. And I believe I have it set on setting 35. So we'll see kind of where we got to be at. But this smells very fruity. Tasting notes are white honey, raspberry, and rose petals. It is a geisha natural. Uh, it's their eight ounce bag, and I uh, can't wait to try it. Did you call for me? You said honey. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. So we're just going to, sometimes the scale likes to work, sometimes it doesn't. We are going to scoop this out of the bag here. I'm thinking like 18 grams. Dean said, what does geisha mean? It's just a type of coffee. It's just fancy. Fancy coffee. You know, I can look up what the exact meaning. All right, we'll do 18 grams. All right. It smells absolutely Incredible, extremely fruity. I'm really excited to brew this in the AeroPress. If you guys haven't tried the AeroPress, I definitely recommend trying it. It's probably my favorite brewing method for uh, pour over. So here we go. I just like to twist it like that. And We'll time this, see how long it takes to hand grind on setting 35. I'm not gonna rush or anything, just kinda go normal speed for everybody. Let me know if you all can hear me. This is on setting 35, or click 35, so. Definitely a little bit coarser than espresso grind. I usually say around 24, 25 for espresso grind. So about 42 seconds it took. And you know it's done when you can spin it freely like this. I like to just give it a couple taps on the side, make sure all it falls down. And I'm a big fan of the inverted method. So we're going to invert it like so. And we're going to set it all on top. All right. Straighten it out a little bit. Just going to undo the cup. It smells really good. And we're just gonna dump it in there. We need some quick math, honey. Quick math. Alexa, what's 18 times 16? 18 times 16 is 288. All right. Some uh, resources in the background. Sometimes the scale works good and sometimes it doesn't. My other one, the first one they sent me worked really good. All right, so we are going to start the timer. I add about 85 grams, and then I'm gonna let it sit there. <clears throat> By the way, coffee called Geisha 
It gets its name from its provenance in eastern Ethiopia, near the town of Geisha, where it is believed to have been originated. Mm. A little history lesson for you. So we're going to go to 200. <clears throat> 220. And it says that legitimate geisha coffee from Panama is so expensive because it requires unique cultivating conditions. And I don't have my stir stick, so we're going to use this scoop from uh, 3H3 uh, Bomber. All right. So now we're going to put this filter on. And then what I like to do is I like to take it, get it to where it's coming out on the top here, and then tip it upside down and spill a little bit. It's always amazing. And you're just gonna push down, not too hard. You don't wanna like power through your workstation here. Just a nice and easy push. <clears throat> Some people like to go a little bit finer when they do AeroPress. I like to stick right around that mid 30s, especially on the St. Anthony. When you hear the hissing, you can pull up. And that's why we always have a rag on hand. <clears throat> All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna taste it. So I'm gonna pour it into a little cup here. If I can figure out what cup I wanna use. We'll use a crew latte cup, why not? I like to try a little bit. Cheers. Swirl it around a little bit. Wow. That's really good. Let me move this back a little bit. Excuse my uh my mess. Tell me if I'm in the picture. Can you see me okay? Yes. Alright. You can also see our neighbor mowing the lawn. You get a great view <laughs> from the back. Okay. I definitely get some white grape. Um definitely a little bit of floral. I really like it for a geisha that is this cheap, like I said, right around that $20 mark, I believe it's $21. Inexpensive. Inexpensive. $21.99 for geisha coffee. That's pretty unheard. It's a good deal. I mean, that's absolutely great. Normally, I dilute it a little bit, uh, so I'll add about 60 grams of um, temp uh, about 200 degree temperature water and then I'll do about 60 grams of room temperature water to kind of shock the coffee but the reason I try it first is because sometimes the coffee is actually better without diluting it it's still really hot so it has to cool down just a little bit before obviously the the coffee is to the best palatable tasting possible but overall Right from the beginning, I can definitely say it does have um, really nice notes of white grape. Uh, I can definitely taste some rose petal in there as well. Uh, now, as for the other one, I don't know. What does the other one say? Raspberry. I'm not getting a lot of raspberry right now. Uh, it might just be because it's still too hot. But definitely rose petal. Uh, it says white honey. I'm getting white grape. Uh, I really do think that, uh, I mean, I drink this drink from, it's like a, 
what is it like a sparkler? Uh, sparkling, sparkling water. water. Yeah, it's white grape sparkling water. From Meyer. And I can definitely taste some hints of that in here. Or it might just be because I just had some of it. <laughs> and it's, I can still taste it. You didn't have a cleansed palate. But no. Really, really good tasting uh, geisha. Uh, if you haven't checked out Brent and Good Brothers Coffee, I definitely recommend them. Uh, this is what got my channel started and I still currently use them uh, to this day. I, I use the Mexican Chiapas for my coffee cart for Brewhead Espresso and everybody has been absolutely loving the coffee and I couldn't be more thankful for Brent. Um, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have found specialty coffee and I probably would still be drinking coffee that uh, I didn't like as much. So. Uh, I appreciate Brent and shout out to the coffee community. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this coffee yet? Let me know down in the comments below. If you have, what were your thoughts and what tasting notes did you get? Also, what did you brew it with? Uh, my favorite is the AeroPress. I think it's a uh, um, it's the best brew method in my opinion. It's so quick. It's easy. And I just think you get the best tasting cup in general. And, after, and, after, and overall, we're just trying to get the best tasting cup possible when brewing coffee from home. So cheers to everybody. Very good. Definitely at the right temperature now. Still no raspberry, but I do taste white grape. Um, I guess you could say white honey. Uh, it's got some sweetness to it and uh, very smooth. And uh, definitely would recommend trying this coffee. I'm going to be using it for the stag, uh, the stag for uh, my pour over, and also be brewing it on espresso. I'm not sure how it would taste with espresso, but we're going to try to figure that out um, soon to come later this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, the proud owner of Brewhead Espresso, and I will catch you in the next video. Stay caffeinated. Peace.